Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Two Pinos in the Pod podcast. I am your host, Chris, and joined here today with my best friend, my partner in crime, my Robin to my Batman, my boy Lenny. What's up, Elfizi? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's me again. <laughs> oh, I have no idea how we did that. What? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <Ghost. I didn't, laughs> Whatever. I swear it happened Sorry, last ghost. time, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Are you sure you didn't press something? I didn't press a thing. <laughs> Shout out to Riverside. We're sponsored by Riverside, guys. If you want to use our code, uh, two pinos in a pod at riverside.com or riverside.fm. <laughs> Hey, not the shout out there. Not the shout out there. Not AM. Uh, AM sucks. Not AM, FM's bro. Because you know? I am AM in Filipino mode. Yep. <laughs> anyway, just hop into it, bro. How's your week been? Damn, how's my week been? Uh, it's been good. This week, uh, Jess's friends came came in to visit, so I was just hosting them, and it was kind of nice to have um some friends visit and showing them around. It's always nice catching up with people or, well, for in Jess's case, she was catching up with them. But in my case, it was just, um, you know, meeting someone new who is a very important person in her life and, um, you know, proving myself that I'm uh, worthy of Jez's, uh to be Jez's husband. So <laughs> I, I, I guess you are, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So th- that's how it's been. Um, what week is this for the OR? I think, oh, one week into or training now and um yeah some big boy stuff now it's intense huh dude we're getting into some big boy territory here man (laughs) it's getting kind of nuts i know so i think this first week has been about like talking about or practicing universal protocol which is like doing a timeout and and then interviewing the patient and you know getting the critical information for surgery like you know, their name, birthday, <laughs> procedure, consent, uh, last time yeah. they ate or drink, their allergies, you know, something like that. Nothing too fancy, you know, no, no biggie or anything. Just the easy stuff. Yeah, it's not like I'm cutting up bodies or, you know, cleaning them. Yeah, just handing the scalpel to the guy to cut just, the body. Just, just baby <laughs> stuff, baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> That's good, though. But yeah. How's your week been, sir? I know you been... got some big stuff or you got something yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this week in general has been really intense. I've been working so much. I think I have like 40 hours of overtime on top of my regular 80 oh, hours. So it's shit. been really intense. I've been working like 12 hour days. It really Damn, takes a toll on the body. I was not um, I was not eating a good amount of food, even though they did feed us at work. Uh, but I also got sick twice within like a three week span. So I was just in and out of like fevers and whatnot it's funny too because when i was doing the editing for the last pod um or for our second episode it the description our ai descriptor put oh chris puts uh chris discuss um getting over covid 25 i'm like what the fuck is COVID 25 like, it's a new heck? breed it's a it's a new yeah. um, strain of covid right now <laughs> chris got it me and Autumn looked it up, and like COVID twenty five is a TV show produced by NBC. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, okay. Are you, on, but, are you a celebrity? Uh, yeah, hopefully, man. Yeah, I'm just a guest host on that show. It's just like a scene of me <laughs> sick in bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we had uh, another big thing. We had an interview today for another big boy job, and the big boy job okay. ended up being really uh, intimidating because of where it was. It was on Tripler. Uh, oh, I, okay. I don't know if my security clearance yeah. will allow me to say that. <laughs> Confidence. Um, cut it out if it's, you know. Cut it out. Not allowed. Copyright. Cut it out, you know. Hey, shout <laughs> out, uh, Joey. Joey. Not Uncle Joey, though. That's oh. kind of, that was always, uh, the fact that they never called him Uncle Joey really bothered me. I'm like, bro, that's your uncle. He lives with you. <laughs> that's your uncle, bro. And I don't know. He'd be wild. Full House is always like, 
that's like the go-to comfort show for Autumn and I. So whatever happened to something, something, something. Predictability. Pay for boy. Evening TV. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, the interview went really well, dude. The guy who um, interviewed me was really nice. His name's nice. Will, I believe. Uh, really, really cool guy. He just came back from a vacation at Japan and China. So okay. I was like, it was really cool to talk about. She was like, like oh, you visited my there. homeland. <laughs> so yo, <laughs> I can't fucking make an accent. I'm gonna get so canceled. yo, <laughs> for yo, Uncle Roger for yo. For yo. Oh, I put my name up for names. Uh, yeah. Are we back? Are we back? Yeah, we back. Are we linked in? Yes. Okay, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes. But yeah, man, that was my week. My week has been very full of work and irritated mm. with my bosses and being at work too long, not eating enough. I yeah. uh, haven't seen my girlfriend very much either. Uh, we did get the same days off this week, so which is really nice. So we got to hang out yeah. a good amount the past couple of days. But, you know, having free time mm. is very much missed. Hey, but you know what? You've been able to see and hang out with your boyfriend at least once a week. Exactly. Dude, ah, uh, we we gamed a good amount yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we exactly. did. Exactly, and that 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 was much needed, dude. Jeez, a lot of good uh, relief there. That was fun. Good vibes all around. And shout good out our, our our Twitch friend Jazzy Cat TV. Yep. Go follow Is her. Is that her name? Watch her. Yeah, J A Z Z. Jazzy Kitty Cat. Follow her. Oh, Kitty Cat. Sure. My bad. My bad. Jazzy Kitty Cat. Follow her on Twitch. She streams every day for three hours, guys. She's the home. Jazzy, hope you're watching. This is for you. <laughs> this is um, what we look like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that was a good week. We also have some big news about what happened this week, but we'll do that on the next segment. Do you have any other oh. things to talk about? Oh, wait, this the, the script is old. I got to exit out of that one before I get confused. Um, What else did I want to talk about? Um. Mm-hmm. But no, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. So yeah, we can move on to the next. Cool. All right. Our first episode of the Two Pinos in the Pot podcast mm-hmm. premiered this week. Um, yeah. What were your initial thoughts before everyone's reactions? Okay, so first initial thoughts, I was like, damn. We, we, our first, my first initial thought was, um, damn, we fucking made it. We fucking did it. We finally... <laughs> Posted a video on YouTube. We did what we said we yeah. wouldn't, we would do in 2024, mm-hmm. New Year's resolution. And so I was proud of ourselves. And, um, oh my God. Um, and it was also super cool to see the, um, the support and love that we, we were getting from our friends and family. So that's just dope. And it just motivates me to even want to keep pushing and, um, posting more videos and getting ideas from my friends and family because they're the ones that's listening. So I want to be able to talk about stuff that they want to hear too. So that was my first initial thought. Um, second, holy shit. I sound like a fucking holly over here with my, second with my thought. mainland, mainland. Second pronunciation. thought there guys. I, um, in, in conclusion, <laughs> I concur. I can, uh, I concluded. Yeah. My my brother was like, "Oh shit, bro, you gotta put in some milk into that, to that podcast." But my, you gotta change the title to Two Howlers in a Pod." Damn, that's so fucked. <laughs> that. How's this guy? <laughs> but yeah, that was my thoughts. I think I gotta I gotta try to bring out the milk a little bit. Yeah, bro, I went to I went to school for these scrubs to wear these scrubs. <laughs> I, you know what I mean, scrub is the guy to get no love from me on the passenger yeah. side. What? Uh, my initial thoughts from this whole thing was, um, like, I knew it was going to be a lot of work from the beginning, and I uh-huh. didn't want to overwhelm you going into it. So I like, mm-hmm. I purposely wanted us to record a few before releasing one, and it ended up working in our favor because now we have, we have feedback, and we're still recording more on the side, so yeah. we can really build upon some constructive criticism or like work on whatever people actually like. You know, because yeah. it is very hard to make these episodes specifically because we know so much about each other already that yeah. if we don't find the right topic, it's just going to be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You it's know? so funny, too, because, like, in between episodes, we'd be talking, you know, just casually. And then we're like, 
Oh, okay, okay. We'll save it for the pod. We'll save it for the pod. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it more on the pod. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm like, bro, it was only there's a finite amount of things that we could talk about. Although yeah, we are only on episode six, it's just like mm-hmm. I don't want us to run out too soon because there's like yeah. podcasts I watch. They're like on their fifth year, and they're like, "What the fuck do we talk about now?" And I'm, I don't want us to be that. Yeah, that's true. I I do want to be a guy that is um, still <laughs> making videos. At, in that time frame, you know what I mean? Like, keep pushing to that point. Um, ooh, sorry, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, sorry, I got heartburn. I take medications every day. For <laughs> Damn. I take Tums. Yeah, can you tell I'm almost 30? Jeez, bro. The sciatica is kicking in. <laughs> I used to watch New Girl, and I'd be like, wow, these guys are in their late 20s, and they still act like this. So uh, There's no nothing to worry about. And then now uh-huh. I'm like about to reach 30. I'm watching New Girl. I'm like, fuck, these guys had it way more together than I do right now. <laughs> Dude, New Girl was uh, the fucking shit. It was probably one of my favorite TV shows. Yeah, and it aged well. Yeah. Because How I Met Your Mother used to be one of mine. And then it just did not age mm-hmm. well. You know, the whole mm-hmm. sexist uh, Barney situation. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah, misogynistic. Yeah. Um, I identify as... Uh, Winst- Winnie the Bish? Winnie the Bish, a.k.a. The bish? AKA, AKA, AKA Winnie the Bish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we had some good reactions from our first episode, man. And that's like the roughest cut. Jez actually edited the first episode. Shout yeah. out to Jez. Shout out to um, Beyonce. Love you, baby. Shout out to Beyonce. <laughs> My um, <laughs> <boys are wolves. laughs> um, We had a lot of really cool conversations with people that like watched the video and they... We had our friend Yvette. She was like, oh, my um, my husband's first uh, ringtone was Chang Hang Low. I know. Just I like know. you. I saw that. Yeah. There you Chang Hang Low. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it just shows uh, that, you know, our, we are, we're able to relate with the people. Yeah. I always have our friends in mind in case yeah. there's an inside joke we can explain on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we even had know, like old. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. No. Um, so <laughs> okay, okay, bye. Okay, so okay, fine. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. no, we had um, we had our boy Stanton that we haven't talked to in years reach out to you, and yeah. I think that was really, really cool, man. Like, I, I love um, hearing from old friends that we haven't heard from in a long time, and like, yeah, being I was really, uh, I was really touched by that. Um, I mean, I've been talking to stanton about like our love for k-pop and he's he's God. looking out he's looking forward to that episode where we get to talk about our love for k-pop and new jeans and the Le- seraphim and xg oh Alpha. stanton i'm sorry but there's not gonna be an episode <laughs> like that it's called two XG pinos in the pod way. not two, two bulgogis <laughs> in the pod Sarang <laughs> Sarang <laughs> 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 Fuck. We'll get that episode later on. Don't worry. Stanton, yeah. I hope you're still watching by the time that episode comes out. Love you, buddy. By the time this episode comes out. I know, shoot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so nervous. Like, fourth episode in, everybody's just like, eh, another one. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're just background music, uh, background noise. You know, I'm fine. Dude, I'm exactly. Too, you know? My sister is driving that. from Seattle, Washington to Vancouver today with my mom yeah. and my my rest of my family, and they Shout are listening auntie. to the pod. They're listening to the pod on the way up. Hey, I think that's really cool. Much love, Mahalki Ta, you, f- you friends and family, you Papa f- Amelia. <laughs> You f- friends. Sorry, the moke, the moke was coming out a little bit. Oh, right? yeah, 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 Fuck. yeah. You f- fickers. Was this, was this about low volumes and whatnot? Oh, did I put that shit? Oh, yeah, you, uh, oh you, you know script? what? Um, Just because, like, when I would crank it, in, crank it in a car, I'd have to crank up the volume to, like, 40 just so. Ah, shit. Okay, crank it up. <laughs> uh, I'd have to crank up the volume in my car to forty, which typically I crank it out to thirty. So it was it was just soft, you know. But you know what? It's fine as long as as long as you can hear. It. Oh my god! Yeah, I feel Low so. Yeah, we can always just crank it up is. more, right? 
don't even want to record on a MacBook. <laughs> it was fine the previous um, stream, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because it's just not hard- hardwired in. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, but yeah, that was about it. Um, but you know, just talking about our mainland voices and all that stuff, our mainland voice, our um, very professional, well Bro. Um, enunciated voice, it made me think about our customer service voice. Because, I mean, oh, yeah. you worked in customer service. I've worked in customer service before. I feel like even as a nurse, it's customer service. So it made me think about, like, how we sound. And so do you want to give an example of what your customer service voice sounds like? <laughs> oh, God, I hate this voice. Yeah, um, come on. Do it for the people. Uh, for the guys. Uh, Hi, how are you doing, sir? How may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, such, it's very polite. It's very high-pitched so that it's not, like um confrontational at all and i don't know i've it's worked for me in the past not mm-hmm. for much longer hopefully okay what if i were to to um make a complaint about something like um you know service here is so slow i can't believe this um you guys are terrible Urgh, i'm so frustrated blah, 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 blah. oh my god i'm passive aggressive when i'm doing customer service voice so my my face says something totally different um <laughs> Alrighty, sir, no problem. I can totally get you some service, but I want you to know that you did pick the time and place you ate today. (laughs) You clearly see that it's very busy. Clearly. Take a look around, sir. Take a look around, sir. It's very humbug in here, as they say. (laughs) Yeah, dude, I'm not a big fan of of customer service voice. I also, your brother, I speak pigeon at work all day. All day, I work with, like, dudes that just lift heavy shit and put them down. So, I'm, all day, I'm like, hey, bro, go grab the thing over there, bro, real quick. And, like, I'm speaking moke to oh, okay. countless people. Because otherwise, Why would I want to do that at home? Funny, he was like, he had to slow it down a little bit so he could understand us. But when you speak pigeon, bro, you know, you you, go, you can talk so fast and, you know, the guy, and you're going to understand exactly what we're going to say, bro. Just, you know, you know the, on the Heineken bottle. <laughs> I'm trying not to speak really fast. And I also, if you're not even moke, but like local people, they say yeah, yeah. after everything. I like, oh, you're going to go over there, yeah? Oh, no, yeah? Like, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 no. Like, all of this dumb shit, like, you try to keep up. Yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah. I want to take this time to shout out uh, Riverside, riverside.fm. If you want to use our promo code 2 pinos, you'll get 10% off your first month using our promo code so go ahead and try it out at riverside.fm forward slash two pinos okay um so the bachelor this one this idea was suggested by my friend liana shout out liana and shout out her boyfriend my one of my best friends mike shout out them shout out mike and lee i see you lee liana (laughs) Um, so she wanted me to talk about The Bachelor, um, and it's a, this season, I've been watching this season, um, not the ones prior, because I'm just not, like, into this reality dating TV show, but with this season specifically, the reason why I'm watching it this season is because there are two contestants that are from Hawaii. Um, one of them, it just says Honolulu, but she's an ICU nurse. Second one from my fucking hometown of Waipahu. Ninety four. Ninety four. Ninety four block. Ninety four block. <laughs> Filipino. Okay. okay. Relax. Two pinos in a pod. Two pinos in a pod. <laughs> Waipahu, um, home <laughs> of Pacific Marketplace. Also, <laughs> Seafood City. Hey, and Jollibee. And Jollibee, and a, two pinos in a pod. <laughs> and of course, they have a Max's. And a Max's, two pinos in a pod. <laughs> um, okay, so the reason why I'm into this season is because of the two girls there. But I'm just getting more interested in this season is because I'm starting to, you know, feel for the characters. I'm finding, like, the ones that I have favorites for. And then, you know, typical reality TV show, there's going to be drama that I'm into right now. So just to start us off, it sounds like, Chris, you don't really watch The Bachelor, right? 
Not no? at all. So you have no clue what I'm talking about, right? I mean, I understand so, the concept. I just don't really watch it for the for the people. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they're, they're attractive ladies. The Bachelor is apparently, like, one of the hottest ones or something. I'm not gay or anything, but he is pretty good looking. Oh, I'll give him that. <laughs> um, but for you, Chris, I want I want you to do something fun here, okay? Okay. So you don't know these contestants, right? Not at <clears> all. Not in the slightest. So I want you to just, you know, take a quick browse here. And tell me which ones. Look at that. Look at Joey. Oh, is it Uncle Joey? Okay. Tell me which <laughs> ones you favorite. Oh, Lee. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if I can zoom out so you can see a little more of the contestants. Okay. okay I see some more variety here. Cap. So, you know, take a quick breeze through. And then I want you wait, to. Wait, wait, go back, go, go back up. Go, go back up. Okay, keep going. This is, this is the top. I want you to pick top five, okay? Okay. Top five. This is not going to be good for my relationship. <laughs> All right, so this is the Hawaii girl, Waipahu, 94. Uh, her, Leia? Yeah, Leia. Her Lee. Shout out, Leia. Shout out, Shout Leia out. Salonga and Leia Lawrence Lakar. Okay, and I think that's it right there. Oh, here's the other Hawaii girl. <clears throat> oh, I can't tell if that's something on her forehead or if that's something on my computer screen. I think, I think that's a beauty mark. Okay. So okay, on gotcha. her forehead. Okay, so that's for all of her. them. I'll go no, definitely one, not uh, Sydney. To the top. Let me tell you right now, <laughs> it's not gonna be Sydney. <laughs> Let's go back to Sydney. Let's go back to Sydney. Definitely not, not Sydney. Be, Are you definitely sure? not Sydney. It's definitely not Zoe four hundred four head over there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. 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 Um, we'll, we'll strike down that whole bottom row. How about that? Okay. 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 All right. Okay, fair game. Not fair star game. with two R's. Definitely not. Sandra okay. got too big hair. Nope. Samantha got some big <laughs> ass teeth. Nope. Um, Sam. Sam has like this, has like this weird face shape, where it just Ooh, looks a little too long. Around, to be honest. Yeah, she has the jawline of a bossy woman. We'll keep Rachel because she's from Hawaii. But yes, sir. Uh, Nat, no, too many chins. Um, <laughs> Marlena, we'll keep Marlena. Okay. Maria, no. Maria. Maria, no. What are your thoughts on Maria? No? Just straight no? Okay. Just straight no. Big forehead. Part down the middle. Not my type. Okay. All right. Um, Moving on. What's the next one? Medina? Medina? Medina's family reunion? No. No, thank you. Medina Ablangana. <laughs> Medina's 31, too, on The Bachelor. Oh, no. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> Lexi, yeah, Lexi, 30 in The Bachelor? No, thank you. Okay. Uh, Leia is cool. Of course, she gets in because she's from Hawaii. You saw uh lauren uh i'd have to see lauren's teeth so far she's looking so she's looking good so far <laughs> you know, you hear that a lot of teeth, teeth pictures here but like I don't very know. important to chris i mean yeah I, I have crooked teeth i need my partner to have straight teeth <laughs> balance it's called balance yeah it's called balance guys uh lonnie we'll keep lonnie laney i think laney but, okay. maybe not then no on. just because that's just because it's laney no we're not going to do Laney. It. Stay in your Laney, Laney. Uh, Kyra. Kyra has like very, she has like skinny girl bone structure. So I can see her collarbone. It's a negative. Okay. Okay. Um, Kelsey. T. Kelsey. Kelsey seems cool. I'll keep Kelsey for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kelsey <clears throat> A. No. Okay. Kayla. No. Okay. Caitlin. No. Oh, Jess. You sure you, you, sure you want to. Oh, you like Caitlin? Caitlin, remind you of somebody? I do like Caitlin. No? How many do I how many do I have so far? That's I have four, right? I think so. But you know, the we, two we're, girls not, from Hawaii. we're not done through the list yet, so. Okay, fine. I think Let's you go. said the two girls from Hawaii, the bottom row out. Um, I think you said Lauren. You might want to look at her teeth. Yeah. So there's three. The two Hawaii girls and Lauren. Kelsey T, you got that's four. Yeah, I have four. And then this is this is it right here. I need the last one right here. All right. So no to Jess. Let's start from the other side. Okay. Okay. No to Daisy. Uh, she looks like a realtor. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. Blind reacts. And, Blind reacts. I know. And is she a re is she a realtor? No, she's a account executive. Um Edwina, 
No, because she's an entrepreneur, and it just sounds like she doesn't have a job. <laughs> it sounds like she should be Filipino. <laughs> yeah. Erica, I like Erica's hair. That's the thing. I do like Erica's hair. We're going to say no to Erica as well. Okay. Evelyn, no. Yeah. Probably no to Jen. Okay. Ah, we'll keep Jen in the running for now. Okay. Because okay. there's an autumn on the first line. <clears throat> Hey, yo. Uh, is it autumn season? <laughs> uh, Allison, no, Allison just seems like a porn star name nowadays, bro. I just, Damn. I can't do it. Um, oh, someone shared Chan- Chandler, no, because that's a that's Chandler <laughs> Bing's name, and she got her teeth look too white with tan skin. I can't do that. She looked like she got spray tanned. <laughs> um. <clears throat> How do you Krista. pronounce this? Krissa? Krissa. Krissa. Hey, Noah. Yeah, close to Chris. Close to Chris. Noah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Noah. Okay. okay well, yeah. I guess I guess we'll go with Autumn. We got Autumn. We got Erica for the hair. We got Kelsey T, Leia, Lauren, and Rachel. That's six. Six. You know what? We'll keep it there. We'll keep it All at right. six. Yeah. Um. Okay. What you got? Okay. Uh. So I'm obviously watching, so I know who's gonna be in there. Who's but who? my favorites, <clears throat> my favorites are Daisy. She's my number one. I think she's gonna win. You think so? Uh. Yeah. Number yeah, two okay. is Jen. Yeah. Really? What's so good uh, about Jen? Tell me. Like, uh, give me some points on Jen. So Jen, uh, she just seems like super down to earth when she's talking to Joey, and they their chemistry is just you know off the chain. They, okay. They're so in love with each other when when they're These talking. People know, they've known each other for one it's, and a half months. They're just so happy together. Okay. <clears throat> um, I do like Caitlyn. It's too bad she doesn't get get as much screen time as the other girls, but I think she's underrated. Um, she's okay. Just a sweet girl. Which one's Caitlyn? Um, this one. Okay, she seems sweet. <clears throat> She's also Asian, so that's three. Shout out, shout out the Asians. Um, I'm saying no to Maria. Fuck Maria. Yeah. Uh, Leia? Waipahu? Four? Okay. <clears throat> and then number five, I'm just going to say Rachel. Other Hawaii girl. Yeah. Okay. Hawaii girls are guaranteed in. Yeah. So Why is it that this is whenever the... there's a Hawaii person on these things, there's always two girls? I don't know. Because, you know, you like even isolate. on American Idol, we had two girls on there. <clears throat> Did we really? Yeah. Um, Jasmine, Jasmine Trias and what was the other girl's name? The Filipino girl, yeah. Fuck, yeah. she was really good, too. I kind of remember her name. Damn. She looked better than <laughs> She Jasmine was also Trias. like 17 at that time, Chris. I she was, was fucking 10. I was fucking 10, Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. Yes, I was. Oh, okay. Well, okay. You were too. <laughs> 21. Um, 21. So the girls that are left in it are Daisy, mm-hmm. uh, Jen, uh, Kelsey T. I think Kelsey A is still in too. Who else here? Maria is in. And that's it. Oh, wait. And Rachel. I forgot about Rachel. Sorry, Rachel. They're still yeah. in? <clears throat> yeah, they're still in. Um, but yeah, what's those the, are the girls. What's, what is Joey's uh, profession? I think he's a tennis coach. Let me run it back. I don't know. Oh. Fuck. I'm going to get flamed. Um, <clears throat> okay. I don't say, watch the show hey. at all, bro. You're not getting flamed by me. 28-year-old teaching tennis pro from Collegeville, Pennsylvania, who stole hearts all over America on season 20. So he's a con creator now. Um, he's a social media influencer. Oh, he Retired left his, tennis coach. his hard hours as a tennis <clears throat> instructor to yeah. be a content creator. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Well, this man has sacrificed so much for us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we salute you. Exactly. Um, but yeah, before we end this this, this uh, segment, uh, Liana specifically wanted me to talk about my thoughts on Maria. And um, go ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Okay, so she's part of the drama, right? Okay, she's also the one of the top favorites to win it all. And for some people, she's 
um, a favorite to be the Bachelorette. But in my opinion, my honest, deeply honest opinion, I have no hate against the girl. But if there are multiple girls accusing this one person of being, you know, disrespectful, rude, then it's kind of suspicious that that person is to be rude and disrespectful. Um, <clears throat> but in the show, it like has it edited to show her being bullied by the three girls and all of them like creating drama with her. One of the one of the girls is Sydney. <laughs> the girl you said no to. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that's my thoughts. Uh, I don't like or I don't think Maria is the one for him. I don't either, buddy. I don't. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Unanimous it wrong. You heard it here. <clears throat> it's wrong of you them to like first. ship them without our permission. Thank you. Um, our opinion matters. I, I don't know. I would never. I would never be on that show. One, they don't have an Asian bachelor like in Wong Fu Productions. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Um, would you would that. you rather be the the main person or would you rather be a contestant? Um, <clears throat> I feel like I would rather be the contestant because I feel okay. like the contestants get more spotlight. Because if you're the main person, you kind of just have to be like the the great figure, you know, that everyone wants at the end. Of the day. <laughs> that one. But like, if you're the contestant, you could be you could be. I'd be more like a New York from um, Flavor of Love. Hey, you know? flavor, play. Exactly. Then I'll come back as the main character regardless because I caused so much of a scene. Okay, okay. How about you? Respect. The main. I'm a Leo. That's this my really that's my heart. <laughs> I like the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <clears throat> but you know what? It's be okay because I, I already found my girl. Her name is Jess. Yeah, I already found my bachelorette. <laughs> she She got the final rose. <laughs> oh i just i just oh man i wish i brought it um i just gave autumn <clears throat> roses today but they weren't actual roses they were like crocheted roses roses that i bought have mm, you seen those mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah those uh, are pretty cool no that's dope did you make it or you oh no i wish i could crochet <clears throat> but no i like got it from someone crochet 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 <laughs> this is just me like crocheting a bunch of shit it's crochet <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> hey! Welcome to the pod. I'm just, I'm okay. just crocheting hey. shit on the side. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, I'm like, I'm stressing out a little more than usual about recording because I'm like, I wanted to edit easier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, fuck, we're not, we're not synced anymore. <laughs> I know, shit. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, next topic. Right. Yeah. Want me to vote? Oh, the next topic is going to be favorite <laughs> YouTube content creators from the past. Who you got yeah. in your um in your top? Um so when I was talking about YouTube content creators, yeah, I would just think about um Ryan Higa, the first guy to um come For to my sure. mind. Yeah. For sure. Or I guess back in the day it was uh well, I can't say it because I'm going to get canceled. I was going to say. <laughs> I was like, well, what was his name, Leonard? Tell me his name, Leonard. <laughs> say it. What was it? What was it? Say, what was his name? <laughs> we got him, boys. Well, yeah, Revoke uh, his Ryan, card. Ryan Higa and How to Be a Ninja. Mm. Oh, I, I think it's Toyota. It? Toyota, it, Honda, Civic, it, Suzuki. Right? Hey. <laughs> Yeah. How to be gangster. <laughs> or stick. Stick, stick. Stick mm. of gum. Sharp stick. Yeah, dude, that guy was a ahead of his time for sure. I think he mm. lives in Vegas now. Ryan? Ryan Higa yeah. lives in Vegas? Yeah, Ryan Higa lives in oh, Vegas. He bought, like, this fat house in Vegas. And mm. I've seen it on, like, um, for him. Uh, Tim Chantarantu's <clears throat> YouTube channel. Who is also one streams... of my... He streams on offline TV sometimes, like video games. That's cool. Yeah. Still a shout out, to, shout out to Ryan Higa, man. <clears throat> Come on the pod. Love One to have classics. you. Classics. Yeah. Love you. Would love to have you. And um, Sean Fujiyoshi. 
For Can't sure. About him. Yeah. My guy. I heard he's a good fisherman. <clears throat> he actually went to my college, but he graduated the year after I started. Oh, dang. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. We're that close in age. I guess so. Oh, yeah. I guess so. You're right. Because he was making yeah. content in high school when we were in middle school. Mm. So, I, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. If only, right? Imagine, I always think about this. Like, what if I became a YouTuber and, like, really put my heart into it at the age of 12? Like, how yeah. how would our lives have changed there? I probably would, would have been a really annoying person in my early 20s. <laughs> Just saying. You'd be, you'd be bullied even more. I'd, I'd be like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me get it on my camera real quick. <laughs> You're going to be in the back of the shit. class. I have and... a bunch of, um, <laughs> I have a few vlogs out. Okay. Okay, sir. Mr. Yeah, man. <clears throat> what? I got I got a bunch of vlogs out. It's just like on a different channel. If you guys find it, you want to good luck. <laughs> no, no, no. Good luck finding it, buddy. <laughs> okay. I'll start a new one. I'll start a new vlog channel, I guess. Speaking of, start? I also have some old videos of myself with my cousins. It's on my cousin's YouTube channel. So oh. if you happen to find it. That, that wasn't me. <laughs> Someone else. If you happen to find it, go ahead and comment it down below. <laughs> <laughs> please, please don't. I'd for love my, to see that. For my reputation, please don't. Oh, no. No, we have to see it. <laughs> We'd love great. to see that. Wouldn't would, would we, would we love to see that, Lee? Wouldn't we love to see that, Lee? Jackie, wouldn't <laughs> we love to see that, Jackie? His name we is Lee, God damn it. <laughs> Cafeo to fish. Well, I love the... What is it? This is the kosher meal. <laughs> Shishini? Shishini? Nihamle. <laughs> Shishini. <clears throat> Shishiniqua, come on. Okay. God. Um, Sawa dao de Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> buttercream, buttercream. Um, Crock skin, buttercream. What size is the waist? Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> this is all from Rush Hour 2. Mm, I fucking love Rush Hour. Shout out to Rush Hour 2, man. <clears throat> Shout out to Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Mostly Jackie Chan, because I don't know what Chris Tucker does nowadays. Uh, he was in uh, Air. Oh, he was in... um. Yeah, he was in Air. <clears throat> yeah. That was, good. That was a good was movie. Good. Did you watch that? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I didn't watch it. <clears throat> but they uh, were so talking about other... that movie a long oh, time ago. There you oh. go. Uh, content creators, um, do you remember Ray William Johnson? No. Who's Dude, that? he had this he had this show on his YouTube channel. This is before anyone ever thought about this. Uh -huh. It's it was a show about him reviewing viral clips mm. from the internet. And this is before like Tosh.0 came out. I'm pretty sure Tosh.0 like, stole the idea from him. But uh -huh. he it ran for a few years and the best part about it was that he had one of the first vlogs on YouTube. And it was mm -hmm. him living in New York City. And I'm pretty sure he was like a waiter or something at the time. So you just oh, see shit. him. He had a he had a selfie stick in like 2012 before it became popping. And he, mm -hmm. he was walking around New York with a selfie stick recording himself talk. And it, it was like at the time I was like, oh, my God, this is like this is groundbreaking. This is entertainment. <laughs> like I, I could do this and it would be entertaining to somebody. And I can see you do that. Exactly. So, yeah, I just thought that he was really cool. He was very famous. Like, one of, like when they listed off um, top earners of YouTubers, it was like yeah. um, Brian Higa. I almost said his name. Brian Higa. <laughs> and then Ray William Johnson was right underneath that. And then, like, Tim Chantaranz, who was, like, in the top ten. Oh, Timothy De La Ghetto. Tim De La Ghetto. <clears throat> De La Ghetto. I've watched Royal that. Royal um, clean, your highness. <laughs> thank you. King shit. <laughs> now it's him talking about his daughter, right? And he's like, the yeah. royal princess is clean, your highness. Oh, so cute. Yeah, he's a very wholesome uh, YouTuber now. Yeah. But he used to be all about like the thumbnail, like big tits in the thumbnail, mm -hmm, badass mm -hmm. in the thumbnail. Ratchet. Crazy. I'd, Crazy. I'd still do that for our thumbnail. <laughs> Show your ass real quick. <laughs> <laughs> For a thumbnail, for a thumbnail, real quick, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a great episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. One more guy I want to mention. Um, 
was Gabe Bondock. I don't know if you know him, but Filipino uh, music artist has some songs saying, gentlemen yeah, yeah, yeah. don't, stronger than all them. Mm-hmm. Um, gentlemen I don't. Just... <clears throat> so good. I forgot that was his cover. I won't tell the world. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you say that was his cover? <laughs> that was the song. <laughs> Um, he was the guy that inspired me to play the guitar. And then, wow. yeah, yeah. Like his song was one of the first songs I ever learned. And um, it inspired me to play the guitar, sing a little bit, and then even wanted to make a video too. But I'm not there yet. I haven't posted a singing video yet. <laughs> he was the Never one that be. inspired me to be a multifaceted <laughs> Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> It's fulfilling my Filipino stereotype. Yeah, yeah. I I was already dancing at the time, and I, <laughs> and I found his channel. I was like, you know, I'm maybe I basketball. can be a singer. <laughs> I was already drawing pieces in my book. Um, <laughs> I remember I back in the day when I was a uh, year five. I remember back in the day, it was like a lot more common for people to be like Filipinos to draw, like be drawers. Mm-hmm. Like I, my brother was like one of those people who would draw in his like little black book. It would just yeah. draw like people's eyes or people from afar. I wish I was that talented. Yeah, I can't draw for shit. Yeah, but I can memorize a ly- like a whole song in a day. The only thing I can draw is draw the people into our discussion. <laughs> draw the people into this podcast. Two pinos in a pod. <laughs> Um, okay. Do we have another creator? Oh, Jeremy Passion is one of those guys. Jeremy here. Passion, yeah. Yeah, right? My sister was yeah. obsessed. Although Lemonade. I was also obsessed because I had so many songs of his in my uh, iPod that it was kind of embarrassing. Like, you'd be like, I don't know, What You Say by Trey Songs would play. And then the next yeah. one is Vienna by Jeremy Passion. And I'm like, <laughs> there's totally different vibes here. I think you were the one to introduce me to the um, like Lovesick Melodies that Jeremy mm. Passion would make. Yeah. So good. Oh, dude. I remember we would bump it at a student leader conference. <laughs> I think that's when you first introduced it to me. Oh, hey, it's man. Crazy. Dang, Y'all I totally know forgot that man, we were all there. <laughs> this man was, um, what's it called? Senior vice president. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's relax there. I was not part of the council. I'm not responsible for our reunion. All right. Don't ask me about it. <laughs> Don't ask me about it either. Damn. It's not like so I was wild. senior class treasurer or anything. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? That's him. It's his fault. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the last topic here. What's this last topic you got? <clears throat> I, I put in throw in throwback R and B. Um but we could talk about OPM too if you want to. <clears throat> I mean I don't have much to talk about OPM, that's why so that's why I don't really okay. we can talk let's do about throwback R and B then. So um this next this last topic that we're gonna talk about is um with the discussions about like these YouTube content creators, um, two of them being like music artists, it made me think about like the type of music that we used to listen to back in the day. And for me, at least, I know I grew up listening to a bunch of like R and B stuff. So Casey and JoJo, mm. Usher, mm. All for One, Backstreet mm. Boys, and sing all that stuff. So yeah, um, why don't you take it over, Chris? <laughs> I listen to a lot of um, I listen to a lot of R and B for sure. Uh, mm-hmm. It was a lot of Usher, a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of like hip because like in the early two thousands, mm-hmm. the mixture of R and B and hip hop was so close. Like there was so many Nelly songs that like influenced a lot of R and B songs. Um, mm-hmm. Even like they would bring in um, like country singers to do songs with the hip hop artists, like that Nelly mm-hmm. song. Mm-hmm. Um, does it go? Oh, <sighs> my head. I, oh, over yeah, and over I again. I think about it over and over again. Yeah. So <clears throat> I feel like R&B, though, that kind of music that it gives that kind of yeah. vibe is not, yeah. not found very often nowadays. Yeah. And so you it's, know, it's rare. Um, so that's probably why it gets replayed more often than not. Yeah. I mean, I and you can see it in today's um, like remixing or sampling of songs. Like, 
um, Kolohe Kai made an uh, reggae version of All My Life. And then if you look at Tory Lanez, he's got like his whole album dedicated to like some throwback R&B. Throwbacks, is, yeah. He throw it back. <laughs> he throw it back, so they throw it back. <laughs> and he Speaking of Tory Lanez, um, <laughs> speaking of Tory Lanez, Drake just reposted um, 3U, which is like Free You in Canadian slang. Um, uh-huh. Just pretty much talking about Tory Lanez to like free Tory Lanez from prison. Because the theory is, here's the theory, since you're, you're not caught up. Um, <clears throat> okay. The theory is, is that Megan Thee Stallion lied. She lied about being shot in the foot. And that Universal Group told her to spin the story and say that Tory Lanez was the one. Because mm. Tory um, is an independent artist. And one of the biggest, to be honest, because he was like selling out albums and whatnot. For a very long time, 100% independent. And he, he even was popping off during the time because of the whole uh, pandemic. He had, like, mm. his his Instagram live where, like, all of these girls would just twerk. And he would, like, share their live. Dang. Okay. Yeah. It was very big at the okay, time. Killer. And so <clears throat> that was, like, the whole spin of it all. And so Drake, around the same Rock time up. that they were accusing him of all of this stuff, all of yeah. these really big, famous um, music industry uh, artists – all started stop following Megan Thee Stallion. So it was like Rihanna, Drake, um, Beyonce, all of these really big artists, right. and they're all wondering. Uh, everyone's just wondering why they all started unfollowing her. But I guess it's because mm-hmm. they all support Tory Lanez. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, big thing. Heard from the people. From thank you, yeah. Chris, for that coverage. Now back to sports. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii, uh, working for Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. This is Hawaii News Now. <laughs> Dude, I'm Leonard Fred, and this is. <laughs> is you just a shotgun at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anything else about the throwback topics? <clears throat> uh, throwback. Um, party? how do you remember like talk or listening to like underground R and B music like Frankie J? Yep. Uh, Lil Eddie. Yep. And then there's this one song I just want to share on there that, you know, I've totally forgot about. But, oh, shit. Um, Daniel D, The Truth. I don't know if you ever heard that song, but. Mm, not that one. Let me see if I can. Lil Rob, Summer Nights. Oh, ain't nothing like them summer nights. Dog. Right. <laughs> that was my type of music, man. I feel it. And it definitely had stuff like that, too. Because we, I, I don't know, we listened to the same kind of music back then. Anyway. True, true, true. Yeah, I listened yeah. to like, K-pop stuff, Stanton. I'm, I'm about to get you on it, Chris. Sure. Just, uh, just count on it. <laughs> All right, if you say mm-hmm. so. There we go. Kantam ni da, Chris. All right, up next we got this or that. This is when we pick a item from a list. It's either going to be this or that. Lenny, you're going to go ahead and read them off today. All right, so the first one here we got is Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. You want to say it together or? No, no, no we can do it separate today. Okay, okay, okay. Right, you go first. Go. Um, I'm going to say Reels. Instagram, Instagram Reels. Reels is a good one. Um, I just feel like. Ah, they're both a minute long, though. Yeah, yeah I feel like Instagram Reels are more informative <clears throat> than YouTube Shorts. If we were to throw in TikTok in there, I'd probably pick TikTok. Yeah, I guess you're right. My TikTok has That's been so one. bad lately. <laughs> oh, has it? Oh, oh like, man, yeah. I'm way, switching huh? between all three right now. Bad like, in, I don't bad know which one's superior. <laughs> <laughs> which way, Chris? Okay, okay naughty boy. <sighs> Are you scrolling when you shouldn't be? <laughs> um, you should try this blue chew. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped. <laughs> Manscaped. Uh, I do want to try Manscaped. Lucky me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe if they're a sponsor of the pod, you know, I know talk hey. them into something. Um, get your ten percent off discount code by using two pinos in a pod. Get Thanks your lawnmower too. 2.0 right now using the promo code 2PINOS. <laughs> the lawnmower 5000. 
the ball scrubber 2000 oh my god you have to see the long beach griffey um video of that <laughs> okay send it over after <clears throat> all right Um, okay, so we talked about them earlier. Jeremy Passion or Gabe Bondock? You go first. You know, um, gentlemen don't usually go first, but I'm going to say Gabe Bondock. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, you know, they're we're both stronger good. Than, we're stronger they're, than. They're both good. You know, like, oh, here's my argument. Yeah. Jeremy Passion okay. made Let's lemonade. Hear the weight of it. Okay. Right? So he like had with the lemon and the ice and the sugar, or no? He made the song "Lemonade." Oh, okay. okay. Um, right. This clarification for the okay. for the fans. Yeah. Uh, so like already a Filipino national anthem, <clears throat> mm -hmm. right? Made by this man, but she Gabe Bondoc, the did the cover of um, "In Your Atmosphere" flawlessly. Ooh, yes, he does covers. Yeah. Ooh. They both do covers. That's true. That's true. Uh, that's true. They cover each other too. <laughs> they cover each other. You know what? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Jeremy Passion because he has a better name. Okay. Respect. But he doesn't go by. Um... Oh, he goes by Jeremy Passion, but not Passion anymore. Yeah. yeah. Passion was a really good name. That was a fire selection at the time. Yeah. And also because Jeremy Passion lost his hairline, and I'm on the way, so I'm gonna be on his team. Yeah. Okay. That's why he wears beanies now and hats. Yep. Makes sense. Very bad. Like, it's like back here. <clears throat> Shit. Okay. Next one is Wang Fu Productions or Jubilee Project. Damn. I'm going to say... I don't know, man. They're both really good. Know, you know, dude, they like right? they tell they very compelling stories. They touch I just feel heart. like Wang Fu has more <laughs> variety. Yeah. You know, they, I was know, they say can cater to like comedy and to drama so yeah we're gonna go with wong fu more familiar to um like yeah they look into the market and they see who's out there so they can like recruit them for their yeah. projects as well shout wong out fu Kathy, shout out Kino. wong fu was the first a24 all right like before a24 oh, it was wong fu that's production. right yeah yeah true 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 so we're gonna yeah, go with wong right. fu yeah okay wong fu you can't go wrong with that can't go wrong, fool. <laughs> wee wee, wee wee. You can't. Yeah, wee -wee fool. Go wong, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, fool. <laughs> it's a... Yeah, okay, fool. Okay, okay. My vato gonna come over here, fool. <laughs> we just went from baby voice to now baby Mexican. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, so Filipino stereotypes. Uh, which one would you go with? Uh, knowing how to dance or sing? Uh, which one would you pick? Uh, singing, of course. So when I was a child, I'm a lover. When I was a child, my mother, my mother would bring my sister and I to parties, and my sister would sing and I would be the dance. Right now that I'm mm -hmm. older and my body doesn't, my knees don't work the way same way that they used to. I mm -hmm. have to lean towards the sing part. <laughs> so now, <laughs> the, now before it was dance, but now I have mm -hmm. to lean towards the sing because I much mm -hmm. rather just sit there and sing. Okay. That was an easy one, okay. to be honest. Yeah. Um, let's breeze through the next two. Alrighty. Okay. So next one is catch the rail or stuck in traffic. Oof. Stuck in traffic. <laughs> yeah, I'd be stuck in traffic, bro. Because even if I get on the rail, I still have to get into somewhere else afterwards. Yeah. Um, yeah, stuck in traffic. Plus, I get my own space. I'm in my own okay. car. I don't have to talk uh -huh. to anybody. I bought my own music. Yeah. You don't have yeah, to worry to get worried Easy. about uh, getting jacked. Getting your dollar stolen mm. from your pocket. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I haven't been the Jackie, day. but I have been the jacker. <laughs> for another day. Let's go. <laughs> are, you, are you the jacking off? <laughs> jacking. Jack it okay. on. <laughs> Jack it off. <laughs> Uh, last, this or that, uh, would you rather know how for bang or know how for scrap? Easy, but because I'm not no serious guy, I don't want to take no lives. So I'd rather learn how for scrap, not for bang. Why, bro? We got plenty of y'all for bang over here. 
Tell your brother no need, Kim. No need bang, bro. I'll scrap. Kim Jong. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I would rather go uh, with bang. I had this lady. I had this lady at work yesterday. She was like, <laughs> "Oh, we were talking about somebody," and she's like, "Hold on." I never. I was like, "Oh, you wanted to, you wanted to lick her, yeah? Oh, you wanted to scrap her, yeah?" She's like, "Oh no, I never like scrap her. I just like give her lickings one time." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you nice. give them lickings, Auntie. You give you them. You do it, Auntie. Give them cracks like that, you know. Shout out to Auntie like Squeaky. Kids these days, you know? <laughs> Squeaky. Yup. And that's it. <laughs> that's it, folks. That's the end of this or that. Thank you, Lenny, for our topics today. Uh, thank you, Chris, for bringing the energy and you know, bringing this podcast to life. Uh, it is, it's on my mind more often than not nowadays. <clears> on <throat> like what what needs to get done next. I'm like, fuck, what mm-hmm. what can I do to help? So uh, and I, if anybody I, I has that. any suggestions on how to help us, please hit us in the comment section below. If you have uh, a business you'd like to be <clears throat> shouted out on this podcast, comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be a guest on our show, please comment down below. <laughs> exactly, yeah. If you want to be a guest on our show, comment down below. We'll send you a link over. Yes, sir. But uh, go ahead and plug your stuff, Lenny. All right, y'all. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Leo the Firm, L-E-O-D as in dog, A-F as in Frank, I-R-M as in Mary. Um, follow me on Twitch at Elfezy, L F E E Z Y, and then you know follow our Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Apple, Spotify um, at Two Pinos in a Pod. Yep, so appreciate you guys. Love the support. Yes, sir. Leave us a five star stunner rating on those <laughs> platforms if you can. Leave a good review. Um, it really helps us get shown to more people. If you guys want to give us a comment on there, send us a email. Uh, any kind of things to help the algorithm out. So give us a thumbs up, thumbs down if you feel that way too. It helps yeah. us either way. Uh, I am Chris. You can find me on all platforms. Real Man Ulit. It'll be over on Leonard's face right now. Uh, follow me on all platforms. TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, X, um, X videos. Oh yeah, com. X. <laughs> uh, and that's it, man. That was a, That was our pod. Hey, yeah. thank yes, you guys. Do. Appreciate it. Peace. Follow. Love you. Follow the pod. Salamat po. I chase. I chase. I chase. I-